In this problem, we're told to calculate the mass m needed in order to suspend the leg shown in this figure. Assume the leg with a cast has a mass of 15 kilograms and its center of gravity is 35 centimeters from the hip joint. The sling is 78 centimeters from the hip joint. So I went ahead and drew what was the diagram or the figure. So this right here is our hip joint. We have the center of gravity. And so this center of gravity is gonna have a force acting on it, which is the force due to gravity mg. So we're just labeling the different forces. That's the first thing you wanna do. Always label the forces uh, acting on your diagram. You want to draw a free body diagram, essentially. So we have mg, right? This is going to be the force as a result of gravity. And then keep in mind, we have a force here, right? This is the tension holding this wire up, right? But we know the tension here is just going to be equal to mg, right? Because it's got to be equal to this force because it doesn't move, right? But this tension here has to be equal to this tension here, right? And this is the tension uh, holding this leg up, essentially. So this tension T has to be equal to this here, mg. Right, and what does this tell you? Since these are gonna be in place, right, since this is uh, not moving, that this tension here has to be equal to this force here or else it would move, right? So what we're gonna do, or the torque as a result of it, not the, not the force, sorry. So the torque here has to be equal to the torque here because you can imagine this thing rotating, right? It rotates like this. And uh, what we need to make sure is that the torque here is equal to the torque here. And we do that by taking the sum of the torque. So we know torque, is equal to RF times the sine of theta, right? So radius times force times the sine of theta. In this case, sine of theta isn't gonna be necessary because each of these are 90 degrees as a result, uh, the angle between the force and the radius, right? This is 90 degrees, uh, this is going to be 90 degrees too. So we don't need to worry about the sine of theta because it's just 90, sine of 90 is just one. So we just need to take the radius of the force, radius multiplied by the force, and they have to be equal to both sides. But I'll show you why that is. So the sum of the torque is gonna to be equal to zero, right? And so it's going to be equal to radius times force. But keep in mind, one of these are going to be positive, one's going to be negative. Because one's going upwards, which causes it to go counterclockwise. One's going downwards, which causes it to go, uh, or this causes it to go counterclockwise, this causes it to go clockwise. And when you say counterclockwise, is positive. So let's start with this force right here. And so it's going to be negative because it's making it go clockwise. So minus the force is mg, right? So what's, let's write down the mass here. So uh, given... I'm gonna call this one M1 right here. So the mass here, they tell us the leg is 15 kilograms. So this right here is 15 kg. And then it's going to be the distance, the radius, right? Is going to be 35 centimeters. So the radius is equal to 35 centimeters, which is just 0.35 meters. Uh, you don't really need to do this, but I just like putting in meters. And then this one right here, we'll call it M2, is uh, the mass we don't know, right? Because this mass is equal to this, so it's M. Uh, we're just going to call it, yeah, just call it M2. We don't know. So equals question mark. And then the radius, they tell us it's 78 centimeters from the hip joint. So this distance right here, 78 centimeters from the hip joint, which is uh, 0.78 meters. Cool. So now we've got that, we can just start plugging in. So we're starting with this one because it's negative because it's going clockwise. So the mass we know is 15. So minus 15 times uh, gravity, right, because it's mg. Force is mg multiplied by the radius, so 15 times 9.8 times the radius, which is 0.35 at this point. And then this one, right here, we add the other uh, torque, which is going to make it go this way, which is counterclockwise, so it's positive. So plus, I'm actually going to write it down here, so plus uh, the mass, which we don't know, m2, we're just trying to solve for that, times 9.8 and then multiply that by the distance, which is 0.78. So cool. So now we've got it like this. What we can do is add it to the other side and solve. So what I'm gonna do is add this to the other side. So we get M2 times 9.8 times 0.78, adding this whole thing to the other side equals 15 times 9.8 times 0.35. And so what you should notice is 9.8 cancels, and then you can just divide both sides by 0.78. So yeah. Go ahead and do that. So M2 is going to be equal to 15 times 0.35 over 0.78. So let's go ahead and do that, plug it in. So 15 times 0.35 divide by 0.78. If you do this, you're going to get M2 is equal to 6.7307 and so on. You can round however you want. Uh, you could just say 6.73 or just round up to 7. 
whatever your teacher wants you to do. But 6.73, and then this is mass, right? It's kilograms because this is, uh, right? Because this is meters, meters, kilograms, they cancel. So, but 6.73 kilograms, that right here is going to be the mass of this object, right? So 6.73 kilograms or however you want to round. But yeah, that's going to be your answer. And uh, hopefully you found this useful.